typical you put glue on something and you drop it and of course sod's law says that it's the piece it's the side with the glue on it that lands face down it's like dropping a piece of bread that's been buttered buttered side always lands face down and the scrap is so the clamps don't mark the good side of the leather basically the piece in here that I need that what I can do is I can actually get that from this so if I measure if I measure the distance from the edge cutting edge to here that phone just scared the living daylights out of me. And then measure along this way. I then draw a line. And then what I do is I cut that out and that piece gets moved across Another one. Jeez, somebody loves me. There. So that goes across to there and creates a curve. Then all I need is get another piece to fit in here. It's only been five minutes, but that's pretty much set. As long as I don't put any pressure on it, it'll stay where it is. Okay, guys, what I'm doing is I'm building up the, um, the thickness of this leather, and it may look a mess, probably because it is, but what I'm actually doing is using small offcuts. Can you see that? There was a uh, bit of damage to the leather just there and I thought well I wouldn't be able to use this piece for anything but what I've done is actually cut along here because that is going to fit in here. Because at the top here I need to build it up and actually flare it out just a little bit because of where the axe sits it needs to be wider here than down at the front so here needs to be at least four layers thick down here can be three layers thick okay remember the other that piece that was broken before that well I need a piece here that gets um, that gradually gets thinner as it goes towards the front so I cut this off that's going to go there it's going to be four layers thick here and go down to three layers down here so I figure I'll just trim that off I was just about to make the cut when I remembered you guys want to know about it so Just 
a little bit more. Okay, put together all the smaller bits they are going to form the side support but for this bit here I've actually glued them onto that side so that it works like a jigsaw puzzle like that now why am I doing it this way you wonder reason being is because these studs that I have to put through, I've got to put some metal studs through there. Um, the maximum thickness they can go through is three layers. That's it, that's three layers there. That's two, and they will not, they will not reach through four. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put metal studs through these two layers and then on the other side I'm also going to put studs alternating like that so if I use the tops hang on. It'll work like that. And then when they're sandwiched together, you'll see four from one side and three from the other. I guarantee you, very few people will even notice the difference. Okay guys, what I need to do now before I assemble the two halves is work out the best spot for the strap. I think that's probably good. Okay everyone, what I've done is I've taken the um, stud that I'm going to use to attach the strap, drilled a hole and screwed it into place. Then I've capped that with some suede kangaroo leather that I've got. That way when the axe blade comes in it won't get scratched up. But what I found while checking for size, I found that found that here. It's a tiny little hole. Now 
uh, on the inside of the leather it's a small hole on the other side it is literally just poking through so what I'm going to do is I'm going to patch it because later on down the track that's just going to grow and next thing you know the strap will snap so what I'm going to do is get some of these um, these little things are actually the bits of leather that fall out from the punch Some of you may think this is simply going overboard, but I'd rather spend a few minutes doing this than an hour further on down the track replacing the strap because it snapped. Okay, that should do. Just enough to fill the hole. Now, push it in and glue it. Mm-hmm.